So you're thinking about moving to Redmond, Washington. Well, stick around. In this video, we're gonna go over all the pros and all the cons of actually living in Redmond. So if you're looking to learn more, we're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know all there is to know about living in King County, Washington, or places like Redmond, like we're talking about today, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to be notified of a new video of Redmond or one of our other favorite cities here in King County. I'm Brad Decatur with the Decatur Home Team and we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every day who are looking to make their move to King County. So whether you're one day or one year away, we would love to help you make a smooth move to King County. The contact information is right below. So schedule a call, Zoom, we would love to talk to you. So today we're doing the pros and cons video. So we're gonna jump right into it. The first pro is gonna be the variety of different kind of lifestyles there. So Redmond's super cool because it's actually really, really large. If you look at the map video I do in a different video, <clears throat> you can see how huge it is. It goes very, very far east of the actual downtown. So you have kind of the north side with Education Hill, the downtown, and then it just goes for miles and miles and miles and miles all the way east into basically some kind of f more farm-like towns, um, or excuse me, farm-like areas in Redmond um, and Redmond Ridge. So downtown's super cool because they have the Redmond Town Center, and then Redmond Way has just tons and tons of shopping. We'll show you some footage right now, but lots of places to eat. It's pretty much a happening spot, and there's, um, you know, lots of multifamily, so condos and townhomes, like higher, higher rise buildings. So you really get that downtown feel, but much, much cleaner than like uh, Seattle, for example. So downtown's super cool. If you're looking for that, then Redmond definitely has that to offer. But what's also great about Redmond is the other two areas. If you talk about Education Hill or some of the other neighborhoods that are a little bit north of the downtown, that's more your traditional neighborhood feel. You know, um, subdivisions with sidewalks, cul-de-sacs with traditional you know, regular houses, four bed, you know, two bath, 2,500 square foot type houses in actual neighborhoods with really good communities. So that's kind of your other section of Redmond that's great. And then if you go way far east, you have, you know, basically farmlands and horse lands. Um, there's the Redmond Ridge neighborhood, which is on the golf course, which is a great um, Oki course, which is awesome. Um, but other than that, they have lots of acreage over there too. There's, it also goes all the way towards uh, Ames Lake, which is another area where you're gonna find lots of acreage. So you can have a farmhouse with 10 acres um, or just a little bit bigger, more estate properties that are um, a decent sized home on you know one or two acres as well. So con number two is gonna be the cost of living and affordability. Redmond, unfortunately, very expensive, just like the general markets here next to the Bellevue area, Bellevue, Kirkland, Redmond, Issaquah, Sammamish, these are all expensive markets. So the affordability is tough. However, there is a lot of high paying tech jobs, so it is still justified. I wouldn't say the affordability is too bad for the actual location um, for the you know, average income, but in general, it is a high cost of living when compared to you know, other areas in the state, for example. So Redmond, if you're looking for a regular single family house, let's say a four bed, two bath, 2200, 2300 standard house, that's gonna be you know, over a million dollars in one of these main normal neighborhoods. You can get into the downtown area for um, a condo that's on the older side for you know, maybe the 500,000 range, um, but that's gonna be your low end. So if you're looking for a more luxurious house, 3,500 square feet, a little bit bigger, you know, maybe it's uh, only a few years older new construction, that's gonna be actually closer to $2 million. The new construction for about that price range, or excuse me, that square foot range, is gonna be in your high 1 millions, 1 1.7 to 2 million. All right, pro number two is gonna be the safeness of the area and low crime rates. So if you take a look here at the graph or the chart here, Redmond's a very, very safe place to live. Um, there's very, very low crime, and especially when it comes to violent crime, there's a lot less of that around this area. Um, so it's just a great place for if you're looking to you know, raise family, have your kids there. It's a pretty safe place. Um, and that's a lot to say because this does have a downtown feel. So even in like a downtown area where there's you know, higher buildings and malls and stuff, there's very, very low crime, like I said, low violent crime. So it is a pretty safe area to go do your shopping or of course to live. All right, con number two is gonna be weather. This one makes every list in this area here. Um, weather is just not very good. I mostly say this in this video is for people who are relocating and trying to figure out you know, what it's like to live here in general in King County. 
Uh, Redmond's no different than Bellevue, Issaquah, Sammamish, Seattle. We all get the same weather, but it's it needs to be said. If you're someone coming from Arizona, uh, Florida, Texas, it's going to be a shock to the system. We do get a lot of rain, uh, specifically from October to maybe March. It's going to be a little bit on the colder side. It can even be a little bit like hazy. Um, so it can be a little depressing if you're not used to that and all you're used to is, you know, sunshine in Arizona, for example. So just something to be aware of. If you are relocating, it will be a little bit of a shock, the weather change. Good news is it doesn't get that cold. It's not very extreme, like some markets where it's really hot in summer, very, very cold, and they get three feet of snow. It's not like that here. Uh, we typically get one or two days that, uh, one or two different times that it's actually going to snow. So for the most part during the winter, it's still, you know, in the mid 30s to 40s, um, and it's just going to rain a lot. But the great part is summertime is super awesome. It's not going to get to 100 degrees like your Arizona and Texas. Um, it's usually going to hover around the high 70s, low 80s. It's like kind of the average. It will get to 90 in, in some cases, but not that often. So very, very comfortable, beautiful summers, but get ready for the rain um, and kind of the, the dark feeling in the winter and the uh, fall. All right, pro number three is gonna be the school district. So Lake Washington School District is always one of the top school districts in the entire state. As you can see here on the map, this is one of the highest ranking ones. It kind of goes back and forth, you know, Bellevue, Lake Washington, Issaquah, Mercer Island. These are all school districts that you can't go wrong with. So they will flip flop every once in a while, but Lake Washington is gonna be a top five school district um, every single year for many, many years to come. It definitely has been, has been in the past. So really great school, kind of goes along with the, the second pro of the safeness of the area. So if you have kids and obviously you want to keep them safe, they're also going to be going to really, really great schools. Um, there's good sports programs there. Redmond High School is awesome. They have obviously lots of great elementary and middle schools as well. But the school district in general is a very, very good spot, which I will add is great for real estate values. You know, School districts is one of the main indicators and drivers for actual real estate prices. So super important that the school district is good and continues to stay good for the future if you care about your real estate investment. All right, con number three is gonna be the traffic. Traffic can get pretty rough in Redmond, although it does depend where you're at. If you're in one of those neighborhoods I was talking about on the north side, probably not too bad until you get on the main road. Um, and Redmond Ridge area does have their own shopping center and some stuff that might get a little bit congested. But what I'm speaking about specifically is going to be the downtown area. So Redmond Way can get pretty rough. Um, there's also Cleveland Street, which kind of runs adjacent to it. And is, both of them are one way at one point. So it gets a little bit funky and kind of weird. Um, not all of Redmond is one way streets. It's not very common. It's just this one area. Um, but Redmond Way does get super, super busy. And there's a lot of traffic. So if you're in the Rush hour time specifically, it's gonna be pretty bad, but it's also typically not very good almost any time of the day, just because it's a busy area. So the fourth pro is gonna be the overall economics in the Redmond area. So Redmond's great. One of the great reasons why it's so great and why there's such strong income there, which can support these housing prices is Microsoft. The Microsoft campus is in Redmond. So we have a lot of folks that live in Redmond that are working at Microsoft, which is great. But just the fact that Microsoft has this huge, massive headquarters in Redmond is a great thing for the city in general and for real estate prices. Having that kind of, um, you know, job demand and growth from a company that's very, very reputable by no means is a startup, right? Microsoft, I think we can all agree, not going anywhere. So the fact that they have headquarters right here in Redmond is a great economic driver for future growth um, and stabilization. So super important when you're looking at real estate investments to get into a market that is growing, not dying. And I think that Microsoft specifically and other tech companies and being close to Bellevue really lends itself to Redmond being a really good real estate investment. All right, guys, that's all I have for the pros and cons video. I appreciate you watching. If you want to learn more about Redmond, we have the map video, vlog tour. It's all in our playlist under Redmond. And if it's your first video you're watching and you're just learning um, about the King County area in general, um, check out our other playlists. We have uh, all of King County covered in the major east side markets. So Bellevue, Issaquah, Sammamish, all the way down to Maple Valley, Snoqualmie. So we cover the whole area. We are born and raised in this area. So we know it like the back of our hands. Check out the videos. If you have any questions, again, please reach out. We'd love to help you make a smooth move to King County.